Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Super happy to see everyone here. Guys, for today's episode, we are going to do a tag video. So I was tagged by one of my favorite YouTubers here, Mary. I'm going to link her video in her channel on the description box below. So please do check her out. The tag video for today is all about five luxury brands that I don't have in my current bag collection that currently I am losing and wanted to add to my collection. So this is going to be a very fun tag and challenge video. So guys, I'm inviting you to please watch until the end of our episode. Hi guys, Ron here, Smoking Budgetar and Fashionista. I publish vlog every Wednesdays and Saturdays about lace about fashion. I do luxury shopping vlogs, also in unboxings. I also do bag reviews and provide styling tips. I'm inviting you to please join our ever growing fan. There's a key to the tag in here. So please click on this one so you can easily subscribe and be a member of our growing luxury addicted family. Please like and share this video and follow me on my new Instagram account that's at Ramir52 for daily updates and styling tips coming from me. Alright, so for the very first brand that I would like to add to my collection really, really soon is from the brand Ferragamo. So guys, I feel that Ferragamo would be the new and up-and-coming brand. They would be, in my prediction, they would be one of the hottest brands for 2023 and moving forward since they have changed their creative director. And this creative director has launched his first fashion show at Italy OMG. It was so fresh. It was so modern. It was so contemporary and that is why guys I wanted to add one or two bags from Ferragamo and the very first one of course the official brand let me guys I'm looking here because there are my notes the official name on their website is the iconic top handle so the iconic top handle is like their version of the Kelly bag and what I love about that style of course as you know me guys I love 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 this kind of style so this is my coach tabby top handle so the difference of that one of course is the very beautiful Ferragamo logo as an opening and closing and it comes in different colors and in different sizes and to be honest guys I would make a suggestion because this one right now since this is going to be an up-and-coming brand that people are going to be purchasing more I would suggest check out the pre-love market also check out the vintage market because there are a lot of the iconic top handle bags that you could purchase for a fraction of a price honestly guys i have seen a lot right now in like for example around 30,000 pesos and below if i could find some guys i'm going to link it on the description box below the only reason why i am not snagging those bags right now even though the price is really really good is number one of course as mentioned earlier currently i'm on ban island and number two, the iconic top handles that I'm currently seeing is the same size as my tabby top handle. And honestly guys, the top handle or the bag that I want to add to my collection is something bigger. It could be like 30 centimeters or even a 35 so that I could bring it with me every day. And the second Ferragamo bag that I wanted to add to my collection, let me just put it down. Second bag that I wanted to add to my collection, still from Ferragamo, the name is Wanda Bag. So this one guys, this is not a brand new style from Ferragamo. So this is another re-edition from their previous designs and this one actually guys also like as a suggestion check out on the pre-love market even on the vintage market because it is also available there for a fraction of the price and honestly I could not see any difference it's like it's almost the same. So if I would be getting a chance, then definitely I would be getting either the iconic top handle and the one the bag from Ferragamo. Alright, so the second brand that I wanted to add to my collection would be of course from Celine. So you know guys how much I fell in love with the brand and how many times we have already visited the store and every time that I would be visiting OMG, it's like I'm in heaven. So what are the bags that I wanted to add to my wish list? Number one of course is my forever crush, the Vertical Cabis. The reason why I wanted to add the Celine Vertical Cabis tote in my collection is because number one, this is the size of bag that I currently don't have in my collection and honestly, when I have tried this in store, two times that I've been to the store, I still feel the same way. I'm so happy, you know, it makes my heart flutter and I feel because of the size it's medium definitely it would be a good everyday bag for me and of course with the Celine logo since this is a Celine Triumph canvas it's like not everyone knows that this is Celine and yes there's a huge logo in front well what I'm thinking is if for example I want to be a little bit 
covert doesn't want it to be very screaming Celine then I could just reverse it and just you know carry it on the other way around so this one I also love this one because of course the it comes with leather trims and the strap is fully detachable and the second bag that I wanted to add from Celine this one guys I'm surprised because I never knew that I having a crush already on this bag and it is the Ava bag and the Ava bag that I wanted to add to my collection is the leather version with minimal Celine stamping up front and what I love about this Ava bag is the shoulder strap is fully detachable I'm going to add the video here because the strap of this one it's very unique it's like a piece of jewelry and if I'm not mistaken it's made of brass so this Ava bag is really one of the silent luxuries. Only people you know would definitely know what this bag is. And of course, the size of this one. I consider this personally as a medium-sized bag. I could carry all the fetches that I need on a daily basis, plus more. And last but not the least, still from Celine. So guys, if you haven't watched my cheapest Celine bags under 100k Philippine pesos or 2,000 USD, then definitely you are missing out. Please do check them out. I'm going to link it up here. And that's the reason why I am adding this third Celine bag. And it is their Celine vanity bag. Yes, guys. Honestly, guys, with the Celine vanity bag, I know I have already tons and tons of vanity bags in my collection but i just couldn't help myself so the price is right this one the size is really really good in the photos i don't think that it comes with a shoulder strap but that doesn't bother me at all what's good about this one since this is a travel vanity bag if we're going to notice at the back portion of the bag there's like a slot where you could insert the handle of your stroller whenever for example you're traveling internationally that's why i super love this one and are you seeing also guys the very cute accessory the celine padlock and it comes with a mirror inside so definitely these are the three bags that i'm lusting for from celine all right so the third luxury brand that i wanted to add to my collection definitely would be dior so guys honestly i still don't have any dior bag and the reason for this is because my opinion guys in my mind i feel that dior bags that you're going to purchase from the boutique is a little bit too expensive I know that they don't hold their value on the pre-love market but every time that I would go there I would still be one thing and would be really praying hard that maybe soon I could get it at a Dior bag and the bag that I wanted to add to my collection of course is their iconic bag it would be the Lady Dior the size of Lady Dior that I wanted to add to my collection the size would be large definitely on my last shopping trip at Dior the kind CA helped me try two Lady Dior's one in medium and one in large I'm going to put some photos and videos here I love them both there are pros and cons in both but honestly with the size I really wanted the biggest baddest Lady Dior and that would be the large unfortunately if you don't have any Lady Dior's yet guys the large one I tried this one it's already heavy on its own so it the size is perfect but since it's made of 100% leather inside and outside that's why it's a little bit heavy and I'm imagining that if for example of course I will be putting in my stuff then it's like I'm carrying already a 15 kilogram type of bag I think another con of this bag I've heard with some of the reviews here is that I think I may go nuts with the handle because the handle this one it just goes like this from side to side it doesn't go it doesn't it stay straight up it just goes from side to side uh, I think I would also be a little bit crazy about that because for example whenever I am carrying this so this one sometimes the handles will just fall to the side and it drives me nuts so I could also imagine myself if for example I'll be buying the Lady Dior I would also feel the same way but maybe if given a chance i would check it out on the pre-love market and if i could find a good condition if it's a medium or a large then definitely i would still want to add a lady dior on my collection all right so the fourth luxury brand that i wanted to add to my collection definitely i would want to have at least one bag from bulgari yes so i was able to try this one out on our local bulgari store here that i wanted to add to my collection it would be the serpent tea top handle so this one of course i wouldn't mind if it's just 100 percent leather because i'm thinking if i would be getting like uh, an exotic skin from bulgari 
I think exotic or snake skin would be a little bit difficult to take care of and definitely I would want one to last me forever so a good leather bag a good serpenty leather bag would be okay with me and of course the color if I could get it in black with gold hardware and the size guys I would want it to be the biggest if I could get it with like with the size of the large Lady Dior then definitely that's the one that I would want to add to my collection and the last brand that I would love to add to my collection so guys this one doesn't have any brand at all it could be any brand no brand in particular but it would be one kind of bag it is a crystal bag and why do I want a crystal bag so actually it was on my current luxury wish list but the reason why I wanted to add any crystal bag from my collection is because last week we have went to Bench Fashion Week. I was wearing, you know, a custom couture top that I have designed for myself. And then I realized, OMG, I have no evening bag that would suit like a very colorful outfit because the color of that one is neon pink. And unfortunately, all of my bags are mostly neutrals, mostly black and gold. Um, it does it will not fit the cost of couture top so that's why I told myself maybe I need one crystal bag and the color that I'm thinking is either pink or red because I feel those are the colors that I currently don't have in my collection I do have some evening bags I have from Moschino um, I have from Fendi with the Fendi that I have it's the white beaded Fendi baguette that's what that is actually the bag that I've used and the reason why I was able to use that is because uh, the shoes that I wore is my white monster shoes so I just thought that since I'm wearing my white shoes then I could pair it up with my white Fendi baguette but moving forward I would want a you know a good size crystal bag honestly this could be even not a non-luxury brand I'm actually checking out the dupes because I'm afraid if I would be purchasing a crystal bag on uh, you know a very high price from luxury brands like uh, Prada or Valentino the crystals might fall off so I might try the dupe first I will be updating you on that one there did you enjoy this tag video for today so since this is a tag video I will be tagging a couple of my friends here so I would also be putting everything your names on the description box please do check them out and this is an open invitation to everybody here so again guys, before we end our episode for today, I'm inviting you to please join our ever-growing fam. There's a cute little icon here. So please click on this one so you can easily subscribe and be a member of our growing luxury addicted family. Please like and share this video and follow me on my new Instagram account. That's at Premier 52 for daily updates and signing tips coming from me. A million thank you for staying with me in today's episode. I'm going to leave a couple of videos here for you to check out. Please stay safe. I'm going to see each and every one of you soon. Bye!